Hello folks, how are you? Well, before we get to the main event, the thing you've all tuned in to see, my Hoover Constellation, just, uh, I just want a quick word with you folks. Okay, now I know a lot of you like what I do, and some of you criticise what I do, and I've had a few criticisms that I've not been doing very many demo videos of late. Now, I don't need to be told that because it's my channel, I know what videos I'm showing you. And I have to say, I haven't had the time to do the demo videos. They do take a long time to do. They might not look like they take me a long time, but it takes a long time to set up, to chuck me muck about, to clean up afterwards, and then it's all the editing. So I've been putting more unboxings on because I had a lot of them sort of in the bank, so to speak. And I thought it's better to put those on my channel than nothing at all. Well, I've decided now, after a few comments from mainly, I think, children, um, I've decided not to do that. So you'll notice there's been a few gaps in my output of late, because I think, well, I'm not going to put another unboxing video, only to get some negative comments saying they want more demos. These are from people who obviously contribute nothing to my channel, who just expect me to do what they want. So, unfortunately, I haven't had the time, that's, that's what I'm saying. But come the new year, fingers crossed, I should be able to reduce the hours I work, and so I'll have more time to do the demos that some of you are aching for. I want to do them, I, you know, I'm sick of showing you everything unboxing. You know, uh, I try to show you a bit of a demo in the unboxings now, but obviously that's not good enough for some of you. So, please bear with me. I am trying to give you what you want, I can't please everyone all the time, there's no point in trying. Anyway, that's that done, but please be assured I have plans for new videos coming up and I'll get back to, I don't know if I'll get back to three videos a week, it depends, but certainly regular two videos and there will be more demonstrations and more other types of videos. Um, just to mix things up, but they will still be mainly vacuum cleaners. Right, talking of vacuum cleaners, look at this. Now it's not as good. It's not as good as it appears. Thank you to... Now, I think this, this chap is called Dan, but his Facebook name is Dan Hoover's Dolphin. Um, and Dan Hoover's Dolphin got in touch with me via Facebook and mentioned that someone was selling an unused constellation on Gumtree. Now, I've never used Gumtree, I've never sold on Gumtree, and I've never been to anyone's house to collect anything on Gumtree. So, I looked at the advert, and it was in Manchester, and collection only, so I thought, oh well, can't have it. So I did a little bit of uh, persuasion, and uh, I managed to arrange a lift. But fortunately, that lift wasn't necessary because the chap selling this actually lived or used to live in the town I live in and was visiting relatives, comes over quite often and said he would bring it over and he did. It didn't come in a box so there's no unboxing, he did bring it in a box but not the original but it is unused. Now that's a good thing. He said there wasn't a mark on it and when I got it, it was quite dirty actually and dusty. Bit of auto glim car polish sorted that out um, and there was a mark on the top here that looked like it was some of the paint had been removed, but a little bit of rubbing, a little bit of praying. A genie didn't pop out, unfortunately, but I was rubbing it. Uh, I should have said the magic word. Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. Oh, no, no, that's sooty. I don't know, whatever. Kids, shout out. What, what does... Is it Aladdin? What does, he, what does he say when he's rubbing the lamp to get the genie out? Anyway, I was rubbing hard. I wasn't thinking of the genie. Um, I was thinking of how am I going to remove this... Mark, unfortunately, it did come off, but there is a very slight, slight, slight little nick in it here. You, you won't be able to see it from this distance, but it is there. Apart from that, it is more or less pristine. It's not been used. There's no plug on it. Um, leave now if you expect me to see this turned on, because I can't turn it on at the moment. Not only it doesn't have a plug on, obviously it won't work without the plug. The switch is, I'm going to say a rude word, but it's not working. I'll show you. Take it a bit closer. Now, as you can see, look, it's all floppy. It won't stay in the on position. Now, I think that's the off position down, it used to be. 
and the on position is up. It doesn't click up. Now I used to have a green constellation in a very similar condition to this and that switch was faulty. It would turn on and off though but it sort of had a little, I don't know, there was a little quirk about it. But this one, even when I put a plug on, I don't think it's going to work. You can't get new constellation switches for love no money. I haven't found any yet. Fortunately, I contacted Sam Watson, who has a channel. I'll put a link below. A lot of you will know Sam if you're into vacuums. He does a lot of videos refurbing his vacuum. Sam Watson, the collector. Um, I emailed him first. I thought he's the first port of call. He may have one and he did actually have a used one in his shed or wherever. Unfortunately, the one he's going to send me, which I might hopefully get tomorrow, um, has the same issue that the one I had before has, but it still works. So that will do in the interim. I'll keep my eyes peeled for a new, hopefully a new old part. It might turn up on eBay, you never know. So here it is, look. Isn't that lovely? Still got, it's slight, I think it is slightly discoloured though. I think the handle would have been whiter somehow. I'm not sure. It looks a little bit creamier than I think it should have been. It's got a swing ticket on that's yellowed a bit. Hoover, make things better for you. A Hoover quality product, British made, made and Beeb approved. There we are, look. So look at the underneath of this. Not many of you will have seen the underside of a constellation that looks like that because this is the first thing that goes, isn't it, on a constellation that's been well used. The paint always rubs off the skirt and often the actual skirt itself gets dinked and, and uh, dented. But look at that. Look at that, folks. Isn't that fa 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 fabulous? Um, obviously you can put the hose in there. I've had the motor out, well not the motor out, I've had the top off just to have a quick look at the switch. I've not taken the switch out. Um, and what I noticed, just beyond this little plastic piece, now that's been put there so inquisitive hands can't get anywhere near the electrical components. Inside that little plastic piece is a foam diffuser. Now I put my finger into it when I had the top open and my finger went straight through. So it's obvious that diffuser will perish. As soon as I switch the machine on, hopefully I'll be able to switch it on, um, the diffuser will end up all over my carpet and probably stain it because I know what that stuff's like. It's perished. So I will have to fit something different into there before I actually use this cleaner. I will use it slightly, but not a lot. Not a lot, but I will give you a bit of a demo. Might do a little comparison video to the Maytag satellite as well. So um, I'll just uh, pop it down and we'll have a look. There you go. Ooh. We'll have a look inside. Just behind me are the cleaning tools. I'll show you those in a minute. It did come complete with all the cleaning tools, two bags and the instruction book. It is missing the bag slide unfortunately. It is slightly yellowed as well. Just where the hose goes in, can you quite see? There's slight yellowing, but really, it wasn't cheap, but, well, I'll tell you, it was 120 pounds. Now, if that chap had put this on eBay in the condition I'm showing it to you, with some nice photographs, it might have reached double that or even more. Providing, of course, the switch was working. Obviously, I don't blame the chap. I don't think he knew, really, that that was an issue. And I didn't discover it until he left. So, um, you know, what can you do? You take, your, you take risks, don't you, buying secondhand. The flex is tied together. It's still got the original ticket on it to show you how to, to tell you how to wire the plug. And uh, it does actually say, um, oh, there's a little mark on it. I didn't check the wattage. Hang on, what's the wattage of this? I think it's, is it 600? It's 600 watts, so you'd think it wouldn't need a 13 amp fuse, 600 watt, but it does. The instruction book does state to fit a 13 amp fuse. Can we see that? Can I show you? I'm sure it's easy enough to date. I keep forgetting how to do it. I'm saying, I'm guessing it's late 70s. Mid to late 70s because I know that the last constellation that I got a brochure for was 
oh, was it 82? I think 81 or 82, I've got a brochure. I think it's 82. And it features what I know to be the last Hoover constellation in the UK. It was basically the same as this, but it was had an orange base and it replaced this toggle switch with a rocker switch. Plus it had a slightly better carpet and floor nozzle than the flip over one that this comes with. But this is certainly, uh, it's definitely 70s, but I'm sure somebody will be able to tell me exactly from that brief shot of the um, thingamajig. So you've got the metal catch. It's got the um, bag seal. As you can see the inside, it's, uh, I don't know how or why this is. Can you see how it's got a blue tinge to it? It's not glossy, shiny white like the top. It's got the blue tinge. I don't know whether they were spraying the underside a bit near it and it's sort of got it, but I don't know. It's supposed to be like that. You can't get these. Oops. This is the original filter. I have seen somewhere where I can get a filter for this, not the original. So before I put any dirt in this, fingers crossed it works, I'm going to get a couple of the uh, pattern spare filters and put those in to keep this felt filter um, pristine. I'm not taking this ring off. I've always had trouble with this. There is a, a ring that goes around that holds the filter in place. It's a bit tricky to get it back on. But underneath here is another grill and of course the motor. It's easy to get access to the motor on these. Just three screws and then the whole top comes off. You've got the motor inside. I will be taking it apart to obviously fit the replacement switch. And this is where the bag, obviously the bag goes on there. I've got two genuine bags. Again, I'm going to um, buy some other bags to use so I can keep these nice. Um, so they are quite old bags because they, they, old bags, <laughs> because um, the later ones that I remember were yellow. I'm not sure what colour they are now because you can still buy bags, genuine Hoover bags for these, but they're probably becoming a little more scarce. This fits the portable as well, which I also had a couple of portables, don't anymore. So um, it's missing the clip. It would have been a metal clip, probably white metal. So I'll just have to substitute that with a plastic clip easy enough to get hold of to fold those. And then of course the bag just slits, slits into there, slips into there, look. Like that, and then you make sure it's not hanging over the edge and then you close the top. So it's not perfect, but you know, it's it's pretty good, isn't it? I didn't think I've, I've wanted to get a constellation again for a while. Um, I never thought I'd get one in this sort of condition. Here's the tools. Again, they're not perfect, unfortunately, but it is definitely an unused cleaner. It's it, it's got some marks from storage and a bit of dust from storage. So you've got your pip fitting, crevice tool. This is a little bit marked. I haven't really able to get those off. And they've slightly, I think it's slightly yellowed. It looks yellower than I think it should be. But it's the old, I love these nozzles with these sort of rubber teeth. They were very good actually, even on pet hair. But those rubber teeth, after use, they would wear down but they were very good. And even manufacturers now I've seen modern cleaners use similar sort of teeth on some of their nozzles. So that's the all purpose nozzle. Stairs, curtains, upholstery. This is Hoover's dusting brush. This is a bit yellowed as well, but it will clean off. I did give it a bit of a clean and most of it came off, but it was I was that eager to take some photos of it. So I'll get that off. It does swivel, well it should swivel. Well, they used to swivel. I'm not going to force it. But pretty, pretty nice quality dusting brush. Nice, long, soft brushes. You got your two extension ones. Again, they're not perfect. They were like this when I got it, but that's going to happen. If I want to show you this working, you can't avoid this happening with these unless I put something on it, but it's done. You know, I've decided that there are some cleaners I'm keeping not used, but really what's the point sometimes? I'm not going to sell this. It's very unlikely I'll get rid of it, so I'm going to likely use it. 
Here is the flip over floor tool, not very good design. My mum had this floor tool on her Hoover Freedom 750 but she ended up cleaning all her carpets which she, she, that was the only, well she, I'll explain in a minute it didn't really pick up very well so she used to clean all her carpets using that tiny nozzle and then when the 750 went kaput or something happened to it she used uh, a pink constellation I had, I lent her that and she used that for quite a while again with this small nozzle until she got her upright Electrolux 502 and then she's always been an upright lady um, she's had um, two Electroluxes, she's on a SIBO Felix at the moment which is uh, I bought her, it's currently still working here's the flip over floor tool anyway so this side for your floors and then you flip it so you use that side on the carpet you've got some sort of little nodules there that are supposed to help with pet hair but they didn't really and some little slide metal slides either side so you'd, you'd use it this way for cleaning your carpet and then you flip it over you could flip it over with your foot when you come to a floor it was better on hard floors this cleaner than it was on carpets I think or this nozzle should I say it actually says on it if we can see is it focused this side for floors let me just move my viewfinder because it's upside down this side for floors and it also says that in some foreign language you can see there look it closes off so obviously when it's like that, you've got the suction inlet exposed and when you flip it to do the carpets, it closes off that side and opens that side, look. There you go. And you've got the little Hoover logo on the front. And we've got the Hoover Flex hose, the double stretch hose. There's a, this is a bit iffy too, I've tried tightening that up, I don't know if any of you have got any hints. Now that is very loose. Now on the ones I've had in the past, they haven't been that loose, you know. They've moved easily but they've stayed closed, but look at that, it just doesn't really want to stay closed. I don't know if it's missing a piece from inside actually. Ah, yes it is, that's why. I wonder if it's inside the hose. Mm. No, yeah, they used to be, I'm sure, if any of you have got a tatty bit that they can provide me with or tell me where I can get one, no, it's, there should be a thing that that screws into that forms a better seal, but I've looked into, looked into that and I can't see it. So, you know, it's not mint, it's not perfect. This looks like it's slightly yellowed as well because that's yellower than the cuff. But you've got your double stretch hose. I don't think it reaches up the stairs. It might do. I think actually they showed it going up the stairs. And of course the hose fits in. It's still a longer hose than the Maytag satellite anyway. But uh, there you have it. Oh, last thing to show you folks before I go. It did come with the instruction leaflet look. It's Model 867A. Instructions for the use and care of your new Hoover Constellation Cleaner. So it's telling you how to wire the plug. And it says a 13 amp fuse must be used. So basically it's just showing you all the bits I've just shown you on the front cover there. That's all it is, instructions. We've just got a picture showing you how to fit the bag. And another set of pictures showing you how to use the floor nozzle. Not a lot on the back. The guarantee... Um, to mark our confidence in your new Hoover product, which has been extensively tested and inspected, it is guaranteed for a period of one year from the date of purchase or higher purchase against mechanical and electrical defects. Any defective part will be repaired or exchanged free of charge to the purchaser. Brushes and disposal bags are not replaced free within this period as their length of life depends upon the amount of use and care given. A Hoover product, when properly used and cared for, will render years of excellent service and therefore each purchaser should carefully read the instructions as misuse or failure to follow the instructions makes the guarantee void. Hoover Limited are unable to accept responsibility under this guarantee for damage from repair work carried out by other than genuine Hoover parts or by any person other than an authorised Hoover service dealer. So, just a one year guarantee. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't think who've had much confidence in this. Just a one year guarantee, but of course, 
we collectors and enthusiasts know that these cleaners certainly lasted a lot longer than a year. In fact, there's constellations working now, I expect, that have never needed a service or any new parts. Maybe new carbon brushes if they've been used for a long time. But they don't make them like this anymore. Sadly, not many manufacturers do, do they? So that's the instructions. Uh, tells you about winding up the flex, which, and I always did this when I had my constellations, it's supposed to be wound up here around the handle, but I find, especially a cleaner this age, I don't want to risk it, it could cause premature wear, after a lot of use, I think, on the flex, if you were to, especially if you were to tightly wrap it around the handle. So what I'm going to do is loosely wrap it around the base of the machine when I store this away. This is one, I've got a lot of vacuum stored in my garage at the moment. This is one that will never be going in my garage. This will always be stored inside the house along with my Mint Hoover Junior. Right then folks, that's it. Sorry I can't show you this lovely vacuum floating about. I think it'll be okay once the switch is replaced. But uh, you know, all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. And again, thank you to Dan, Dan's Hoover's Dolphin, for sh telling me about it. After my initial disappointment, thinking, oh, well, there's no chance I'll get that, um, I managed to get it. But I didn't actually say anything to Dan, because um, I was in contact with the chap. But until I actually had this in my home, I thought, I'm not going to jinx it, I'm not going to say anything. Wee, let's just... We're friends here, you don't mind me adjusting my tripod, do you, in front of you? I normally would, you know, <laughs> I would normally sort of pause and try and make it look professional. But we're friends, we're just chatting, I'm just showing you this. And I'm not showing you, I don't know if some people think I'm showing you things, I'm bragging about having all these things. I'm not at all. You know, I don't think it's an accomplishment to have 160 odd vacuums, I really don't, and I'm not thinking, oh, look what I've got that you haven't got. I'm not. I hope you don't think I'm like that because I'm not. I really am not. I am pleased to have it. And I'm showing you this. I'm sharing this with you. But I'm not saying, oh, look at me. I look what I've got. You haven't got one of these. Um, you know, but at least hopefully you'll get some pleasure from seeing this one. If you, you know, you haven't got. But they, they were fairly common, you know, these cleaners. They sold a lot of them. They were fairly common to buy. And I can just remember seeing, I know I'm so old, the very last model in a shop in the co-op in East Grinstead and the, the um, Celebrity Air Ride as well. So there it is. Very pleased to have this. Fingers crossed it will work once I get the switch from Sam. Thank you Sam again. And uh, put a plug on. I'm hoping that it will work. I've looked at the motor, it looks lovely and clean. I'll sh probably show you that actually um, in the next video and I will be doing a bit of cleaning with this but I'm you know, going to treat her very carefully. She's an old girl but she is going to have some dirt inside her. She's going to fulfil her life's purpose. So thank you again. Please bear with me. More demos will be coming up. I'll be showing you more vintage machines. I'll be showing you brand new machines. I'll be maybe doing some, trying to be funny in some videos and doing some odd things, dancing about, maybe another Hoover Maneuver type video. But, you know, I'm glad to be uh, sharing my love of vacuums on YouTube because I know a lot of you like them. Thank you, oh, go on, just forgot to mention, I know this is going on for too long, but I'm having a nice chat. Thank you uh, to my subscribers. I've gone over 10,000. It, it happened a few weeks ago. I didn't really, didn't really mark the occasion. I meant to, but again, I was going through quite a difficult period, which hopefully I'm, I'm reaching the end of. Um, but there's nothing wrong. So, you know, if any, any, some of you showed some concern, thanks for your concern. There's nothing wrong. It's just uh, the way life has been a bit hectic. But as I say, next year, I'm planning uh, on a lot more things for you and may finally may get my other channel, not my Playmobil channel, but my third channel off the ground. That's one of my things. So although I'll be earning less if I, I, I'm hoping to cut a whole day 
of work, so only going four days a week. So that gives me extra time to devote to YouTube. So, you know, don't be disappointed, please. I hope you look forward to new things coming up because there's still a lot to show you, I can assure you, a lot more to come. So, again, thanks to all my subscribers. It's, um, by the time you see this, it might be 11,000. I don't know. I'd like to get to 100,000, so tell your friends. Uh, it might be a while until I get to 100,000, but that is the goal. But I do have another goal to aim for. I'm not telling you yet, but I'm quite near that goal. A lot nearer that goal than I am near getting my silver play button from YouTube. But the next goal is not far. It's within touching distance almost. When I reach that goal, and I'll not say what it is yet, but when I do, you can guess down below if you want to, put your suggestions. When I do, I will be doing a giveaway. Two subscribers, um, and um, it'll be a little, you'll have to answer some questions to enter. If any of you that have actually donated to my PayPal or sent me a present for my Amazon wish list, you will automatically be entered into a prize draw to win something vacuum related, something worth having. Um, so you'll get an automatic entry to that. If uh, you want a, two entries, then you can enter again by answering the questions. But any of you who've donated, of course, Patrick, David, Mark, everyone who's donated either for my wishes or into PayPal, you will get automatic entry into a prize draw to win a vacuum. Okay, a new one too. Um, so that will be coming up, but only when I reach a certain milestone. But that, I think that will be fairly early next year, to be honest, and you'll get to know about that. So I will be thinking of how I'm going to arrange it, you know, because I want there to be a little bit of skill and knowledge involved, not just a prize draw. You'll have to answer some questions, vacuum related questions. If you get all those questions right, you'll go into the draw. And then I'll have to um, write your name on a piece of paper. Um, then possibly put all the bits of paper on the floor, vacuum them up, vacuum them up with whatever current vacuum I'm using. Then probably a bagless machine would be best. And then I'll open up the bagless unit and take out the winning ticket. And then probably be there'll be a first, second, and third prize. Okay, but it's all in my head at the moment. I've not thought about it. But that will be coming up, I would say, early next year. If you subscribe, you'll, you can enter that. If you've donated, you'll get an automatic entry. Thanks for watching. I'm off now because I have actually got time to record a bit more demo video. I'm, I've started one. I'm surrounded by mess at the moment. You can't see. It's off camera. I've got a few piles of filth on my carpet. Poor Daisy is sitting in the corner and the only bit of the living room that's not covered in dirt. So I just wanted to show you the constellation and, and, you know, share my excitement. Connie, the constellation, will be coming back, hopefully, providing... I'm, I'm sure the switch will be fine that Sam's sending me. Once I put a plug on, fingers crossed that it'll be fine. In fact, I will film that for you, so that will... The first time I switch her on, I'll have that camera rolling. Big thumbs up to all my subscribers. Thank you for your support, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.